Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon. As you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we're putting the Glock 19 Gen 5 up against the HK VP9. Why these two, you may ask? Well, why not? Honestly, the VP9 is probably a bit more comparable to the Glock 17. But I feel like the Glock 19 is just more popular than the 17 and more people own Glock 19s than 17s. So here we are. And really, the, di the dimensions are minuscule. As you can tell, if I line up the top of the slides, not a whole lot of length difference there. Maybe the width of the, or the thickness of the base pad. And you get two more rounds with the VP9 than you do the Glock 19 which would be medicated with the 17, but like I said, here we are. As far as your slide length, barrel length, not a whole lot of difference there either. There is some, probably more comparable to the 17. But I really shoot the Glock 19 like a full-size gun anyways. And me just shooting them here back to back, side to side, while I was getting ready for this video, it feels like, to me, and this just could be because I've shot Glocks a lot, I feel like the 19 is a bit more controllable. The recoil is a little bit more controllable, like I can stay flatter. And I don't know if that has to do with the low bore axis, which is right there on the Glock 19 for me. And you can see it sets a little bit higher. It's as high of a grip I can get on the VP9. So that's probably a factor for me in in that slide staying flat during firing, but it is something that I noticed. Now I'm not gonna talk about sights on these two guns. One, I bought the VP9 with the night sights, which is a little extra, and I changed the sights on the Glock 19 because about anything is better than stock Glock sights. I say they're just dovetail protectors essentially until you put the sights that you want on them. Not a big fan of factory Glock sights. But, anyways, here they are. Fit and finishes are very, very similar. Uh, mags are very high quality in both of these guns. It's all really gonna boil down to what you prefer and what fits your hand better. Both have back straps that you can change in or out to fit your hand. The VP9 does have the option of swapping out side panels as well. So you get a little bit more ability to to make it adapt to your hand. I've got this one set up pretty good. I gotta say, it feels really, really good in my hand. Now, I wish I would have got the VP9 that had the standard US magazine release, but I didn't. And, you know, that's just a training thing. If you train with this, mag, this style mag release, you're not gonna have any problems. I have to use my trigger finger to do it because if I go to, I have to twist really, really far to use my thumb on the off side to do it. Whereas the Glock, just natural to me. So maybe this is a biased video. I don't know. I'm trying not to be, because there's a lot of things I don't like about Glock. I don't like that I have to change the barrel to shoot lead. I haven't shot a whole lot of lead on this VP9, but I have shot some coated lead bullets with no problems whatsoever. And that's just, that's all my Glocks I have aftermarket barrels for. I don't think I have to do that with the VP9. But as far as features, they're essentially the same. They're striker-fired polymer handguns with a slide release takedown lever. Slide release takedown lever. Now this one does have a little bit more traction back here. It's got those ears that stick out. And honestly, I really like that feature. It doesn't get in the way. So I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. It's something extra for you to grab and it's not gonna be any kind of extra bulk or snagging on anything or nothing like that. You do have your cocked indicator in the rear here, which is something the Glock doesn't do. Just standard old back plate there. But, you know, stand old, stand old, the extractor is basically a loaded chamber indicator for both. This one will have a little red indicator that sticks out when you're, when you're chambered but they're both tactile, you can feel them as well. Both have accessory rails, both are have good checkering or stippling, whatever you wanna call it, great texture. 
that's really, I mean, they're very, very comparable in my opinion. That's why I'm putting them head to head. So let's just load up a little bit, shoot some, go from there. Just have fun with it. It's kind of what I'm doing today anyways. I just wanted to shoot both these guns if I'm being honest with you. Today's video is brought to you by Vetter Holsters. I'd like to thank them for helping the channel out. Here's one of the products they sent over for me. This one fits my 365 XL with the red dot on it. You see it's cut for that. Also has the claw feature on it. Keeps that butt tucked in closer to your body. Another example is this holster for the HK VP9. This is their outside the waistband model. Just look at that cool pattern on that. Excellent retention, great products. So if you want to go help them out, which they help me out, so it works out both ways, I'll put a link to their website below. Go check out Vetter Holsters. So honestly, you're probably going to start seeing a lot more of these types of videos where I get to just come out and shoot some of things that I want to shoot because I don't get to do that a whole lot anymore. So anyways, I'm just going to put 10 in each one here and just slow fire around some of the steel and go from there. So start with the VP9, slow fire. Slide didn't lock open for some reason. Probably riding a slide stop if I was betting. It's definitely empty though. Let's do the old Glock 19, some slow fire. Let's speed it up just a little bit. VP9. Clock not to. Still feel like the recoil impulse is more manageable with the Glock. Gotta be that bore axis. All right, the tests of tests. 80 yards, 12 inch plate, five shots each, no redos, is what it is. This is the ultimate test. Not really, but it's fun to say that. Ah, this definitely speaks more on my ability or lack thereof than it does the guns. Two of five. Let's try the Glock. Two of five. All right. So there you have it, inconclusive data. You don't need to watch any more videos, don't need to read any blogs, no reviews, no forums, nothing. Everything you need to know right here that the Glock 19 is way better than the VP9. <laughs> I am 100% goofing off. Honestly, I couldn't tell you which one's better. It's going to be 100% subjective, what you prefer, what you shoot best, what you're more familiar with, what feels better to you. You just got to shoot them and decide for yourself. I don't want to get rid of either one of them. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep them both because I like them both. Aftermarket support is great for both. I'm going to say that probably lends itself a little better in Glock's favor as far as aftermarket support, but, you know, Glocks have been around for a long time the vp9s haven't been around nearly as long as the glock 19s but you know the vp or what was it the sk30 or whatever was really similar just hammer fired so holster and stuff may interchange with those either way those still haven't been around as long as glocks have but shootability like i said the only thing that I feel like is an advantage to me is the bore axis on the Glock is a bit lower and I can manage the recoil a little bit better. And that could just be because I shoot them a lot. But as far as the triggers, the triggers are very similar. VP9 probably has a better trigger, honestly. 
if just sitting here pulling them they're just a little different I can't say one's better than the other one they're just a little bit different but maybe the, the VP9 is probably a little lighter so slow fire I, I might have shot it a little bit better maybe I don't know you have to let me know in the comments below but anyways that's what I got for you today guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit like and subscribe check out all my links below patreon Facebook Instagram y'all go check those pages out a lot more content on there than you can see on YouTube so anyways until next time guys stay tuned